who talk about women's sports more more than more than first take. Stephen A. Respectfully, with your platform, you could have been doing this three years ago if you wanted to. Oh! That one there was a violation. Wow. All right, we gotta wow. go. To, you wow. guys. So, so did you, you say know you my show? God, but who does more for than, than Stephen? Us? A., I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Wow. Don't do that. I'm talking to you about the oh, power that you have. Okay. I'm talking okay. to you. <laughs> Okay. It's, okay. It's, All right, let, let's I got you, it. my guy. But I'm talking it. to you. Guys, I got it. guys, guys, guys. You, I really you, appreciate missed, you, my girl. But you've missed a lot of episodes of First Take. You missed okay. a lot. Stephen, A., three years ago, you would not talk about the W at this level. Don't do that. Guys, 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 guys. Nobody wants really, Monica. Guys. You making hey, Stephen A. poor, hey, Monica. Hey, Monica, you. You know what? I'm gonna make this a video quick because I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. I've been very quiet about the WNBA. I've been very quiet about it. I haven't spoken about anything about Caitlin Clark. I haven't spoken about anything about Angel Reese or any of these WNBA players. I've been very quiet about it. For some reason, I don't want to get into it. But I think it was yesterday now. Uh, she's seen the clip before. That, uh... Everybody's out here trying to feel bad for Caitlin Clark, right? She's out there getting hit. She out there, the fever, any other fever are not great. Um, she every other game, she's having a bad game, such and such. Um, they have the feeling that um, the other players around the league don't like her because of all this media frenzy, and I blame this on the media for what's going on. It ain't really anything against her. It's really more on the media for making this a circus now. Making all these players jealous of her. But there's one thing that I had to point out that Stephen A. Smith said right. Was actually, I had to agree with Stephen A. Smith. Is that um, he was talking about it's hard to talk about women without saying something wrong. Because if you say something wrong in their eyes, you get crucified. But... It's all right to, you know, crucify men. And I do agree with that. But shout out to um, my guy. Ain't my guy, but shout out to uh, Dreamers Pro. Because he spoke about this as well, too. Uh, we have to cuddle, cuddle, coddle women these days. We can't say anything bad about them. We got to act sweet to them. But if a man's going through something, this ain't even just about sports. This would be regular life. If a man is going through something, he has to internalize it and keep it within himself. If he complains about it, why are you complaining about it? You're a man. Grow up. Grow a pair. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And so, yes, we have to go back to Paul George in the bubble. Everybody was calling him Pandemic P and he couldn't shoot well and he was going through it, right? He was going through it. And everybody got on him about it. Everybody told my man up. Stop acting like a baby. Yada, yada, yada. But when it comes to women. Oh, you poor thing. You poor thing. I'm so sorry you had to go through this. You poor thing. Oh, my goodness. Let me get you a sandwich. Take a sandwich. Man, go through something. Ah. Straighten up, young blood. Stop crying, you bastard. All kinds of stuff. So I had to agree with Stephen A. Smith when it comes to that. I really do. Um, but as far as Caitlin Clark is concerned, she got to man up because Jordan had to go through this. Jordan went through this because he got that big time contract, which was unheard of at the time. And everybody came for him. And guess what Jordan did? It took a couple of years, but Jordan said, I'm going to bust everybody's ass. And he proceeded to do that. And that's what Caitlin Clark is going to have to do in the WNBA. She's going to have to bust everybody's ass. She's going to have to man up, take it on the chin, because she knew this was going to happen. And she's going to have to go out there, and she's the best player, or supposed to be the best talent, this, that. She's going to have to go out there and man up. And bust everybody's ass. You can't keep getting caught up like this. Everybody feeling bad. Um, 
I'm not gonna get into how certain people. I'm not gonna get into all that with. Oh, we gotta feel bad for Caitlin Clark for getting hurt, but not saying anything about Andrew Reese getting clotheslined a couple weeks, uh, a couple days ago or a week ago. I'm not gonna get into that. Um, what the W, what the media should really be promoting is these two stars, but they ain't doing it. They ain't doing it. As I see the WMA, yes, Caitlin Clark is uh, giving um, eyes to the WNBA. But also at the same time, it's it's becoming a joke. It's becoming a clown show at this point. It's just a bunch of back and forth and throwing shots everywhere in the media and all kinds of stuff. Or whatever YouTubers talk about it. It's a bunch of, you're racist. You're, it's just like, God. Why do we go to the racist part all the time? Or the sexist part or whatever. Why do we gotta go to that? But anyways. Yes. I agree. Caitlin Clark is giving the NBA, WNBA life. But at the same time, she's gonna have to man up. And I blame the media for putting all this on her too. I really do. But she'll get it hopefully. She'll get it soon. Hopefully. If not, then... Yikes. But anyways, that's all I got to say about the issue.